Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Ninja Foodie Smart XL Grill. This is for indoor cooking. I'm first going to talk about the grill, and then I'm actually going to cook some steaks and some chicken with it. Okay, so let's talk about the grill. It does a really good job. It is a little bit on the big side. Here's what it looks like on the back. You will get some hot air coming out this vent here, but it's not too bad. So it's got a really nice hinge that lifts it up. There's the heating element, and it's got this uh, filter, this metal filter that you're going to have to clean once in a while. The grease does splatter up on there, and it is a good, good idea to clean that filter. It's very easy to take off. You can see the fan and the heating element are right there. So it comes with this, this uh, grill. This is what I use the most. The other side's flat. You don't use that side. This catches all the grease, so you're going to use this all the time. And then here's the air fryer basket. Now, the first thing about this is the Teflon. It's got a really good Teflon coating. Things do not stick to this, and it works really well. I've, I've uh, cooked some chicken on here, and it just washes off really easy. It does come with this brush, which is really nice because that is kind of some deep grooves, and this gets down in there really good. All three of these parts are dishwasher safe. And when it's cooking, the mess is pretty well contained. Sometimes I have to wipe off this ledge, but I don't notice I get any mess here. Sometimes I have to wipe off the inside there just a little bit. Now they call this a smart grill. It's got this temperature probe right here. So this is a really nice storage. It's just held in with a magnet. And we're gonna, it's got like a phone jack, or like a headphone jack. You're gonna unwind it. This is what you're going to insert in the meat. And this can be in that cooking environment because it's not gonna melt but you cannot dishwash, you cannot put this in the dishwasher. So you're gonna plug this in, it kind of goes up at an angle, and as soon as you plug it in, it switches to intelligent mode. Okay, so I've already had it on, but when you turn it on, it's got a really nice touchscreen display, it's very easy to read, it's very easy to clean. So when I plug this in, you gotta select what you wanna do. You're, you can do any of these, air crisp, uh, roast, grill, with this temperature probe. Then you're gonna select, so I wanna do grill, and I'm gonna do preset. And now you can switch between rare, medium rare, medium, medium well, and well done. That's the temperature of what inside of the beef will get. Then I, with these other arrows, I can select chicken. Chicken, you only get well done. Pork, fish, I can do medium well and well, and then it goes back to beef. So that's whenever you plug this in. Now I can do manual. And I can just hit a target temperature. So say I, say I got some kind of meat in there and I just want the internal temperature to be 185. So then it's going to tell me when this thing, when the internal temperature of that meat gets to 185. But I like to use, we're going to cook some steaks with the preset. And I'm going to go all the way up to, I like ours about medium well. Now it does come with this recipe book. I really do like it. And it's got a nice chart in there. It kind of shows pictures of what rare, all the way to well is. Now you, like I said, you do not have to use this. Then it just goes back to a manual mode. So turn it off, back on. Now it's just a manual. So I can do a grill. I can do high, medium, or low. And then this is how long I want. That's 10 minutes, 11 minutes. And then just press start. It's gonna do a preheat. The oven, the oven kicks on. And then it's gonna tell you to add your food. It takes about 10 minutes to warm up. That's in the manual mode. Also comes with a nice manual. Got, it has different temperatures for different things. It says what medium is 130 degrees for fish, what well done. So it corresponds what those well done is to an actual temperature in here. So this is really nice. Okay, so, so just some really quick measurements. That's about nine inches by about 13 inches. And depth wise, oh, about an inch, maybe an inch and a half. And then here's what it looks like when you when you put the air fryer in. It's a little bit smaller, right around almost 12 and a half by seven. So overall prod dimensions are right around 17 inches front to back. Left to right's about 15 inches. And then with the lid up, you're looking right around almost six, almost 16 inches with the lid up. Okay, so let's cook our steaks. I turned it on. I plugged the temperature probe in. When you plug the temperature probe in, make sure it kind of snaps. And it, the display changes to, and it shows you the temperature probe. Now I'm gonna hit preset. Oh, I gotta hit grill first. We're gonna do grill, preset. 
Then I'm going to do, it's already on beef, so I'm using, I'm going to do over here and go to medium well. Let's just go medium well eight. And then I'm going to hit start. So now we're in preheat mode. And when you're in preheat mode, there's going to be a little, uh, there's going to be a little status bar that's going to go across. Now preheat does take a little bit. It takes about 10, 10 minutes. This is going to let you know where the, it is in the preheating mode. It's going to go over all the way to about here. So here's what the machine sounds like. It's not super loud, but it does have like a constant fan noise up here. Okay, so while this is preheating, let's talk about probe placement. They want it in parallel at the thickest part of the meat. And they've got some really good diagrams to show you. You don't poke it in the top of the meat. They want it to go in the side of the thickest part. It talks about on fish and a whole chicken. So even though I'm doing two steaks, I'm only going to poke it into one steak. So let's poke it in this one. It's got a nice sharp point. Poke it right in the middle. Again, all the way until there's no metal showing. Now, if you don't have time to wait for the preheat, you can hit the preheat button and it'll, it'll bypass the preheating mode. Okay, so at the end of the preheat, it says add food. So now we're going to add the food. Okay, so be careful. This is all really hot. You're just going to place the steaks in there like this. And you're going to watch out for the temperature probe. You don't want the probe hitting the side of it. But it's, you're going to have to have this cord that's going to come out and wrap around. So it doesn't talk much about the placement of the cord, but there is plenty of room for it to come out. Again, here's what it should look like. Again, make sure this is not touching that. Okay, so where this machine shines, because it, you programmed it for a, a target temperature of 145, but right now the current temperature, since you've got that temperature probe installed in the meat, the current temperature is 56 and rising. Now, right now it's rare, but if you want to double check where you're at, yeah, see I'm at medium number eight beef, so it's going to get there. And again, the display will always show the target temperature and the current temperature. This is where this, using that temp probe is really nice. Haven't seen both temperatures and you can watch this one rise. And again, this is just a very nice display, very easy to read. The beeps aren't super loud. They're not, uh, they just kind of give you a little heads up of what's going on with the machine. Okay, so it's only been about seven minutes. We're at 103. Let's just take a peek. Yep, steaks are looking good. Okay, so it did beep at me and tell me to flip the uh, steak. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the steaks now. We can lift it up. And we're just going to flip the steaks. There's how they're doing. It's a little trickier with the temperature probe, but you can still do it. And so one thing, I don't notice a bunch of smoke. The house does smell a little bit, but nothing too bad. Let's just take another peek. We're at 127. Okay, so that took about 15 minutes. Now it says the word get food. So it reached the internal temperature. Now it says rest for four minutes. Okay, so this is where they want you to transfer it to another plate. Leave the temperature probe in. Bring both of them over here and it says rest. And it's gonna have a countdown timer. Rest. And while we're letting it rest, you can see that's gonna be very easy to clean up. Here's how the steaks are. And so that's a count up timer. And it says to rest your food for three to five minutes. And then it also talks in about you can transfer that temperature probe to the other piece of meat by holding the manual button, inserting it into the other piece of meat. Say you had another piece of fish or chicken and you wanted to check the temperature of it, you could insert it in that. So it also does, a, as an air fryer, it can cook french fries. So earlier I cooked a bunch of french fries with it. It did a really good job. It gets them really nice and crisp. Okay, so be careful. This can be hot. We're going to take this out, the temperature probe out. Turn the power off, and let's cut the steaks open, see how it did. Okay, so I cut one open, let's see how it did. It looks like it did a pretty good job. Yeah, that's definitely a medium well done. So again, the machine operated very nice. I didn't get a bunch of smoke. I'm gonna have to make sure and clean that uh, metal filter up there, let it all cool down, but it's important to clean that. This cleans up really easy. I hope this video helps. I really do like this Ninja Grill. Thanks everybody for watching.